It's coming, 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 coming. I am back for my five month break. It is Arlena here and welcome back to my channel So on today's video, it's going to be not different I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a thumbnail on computer for free. Let's get started Make sure to like and subscribe and follow my socials down below All right, so before we start, I'm just going to make a quick thumbnail or a quick GFX for the thumbnail, so I will be right back. I'm just going to speed this part up. If you want to copy it or something, you could slow the video down and you could copy. GFX like so and it'll be in the background I'm just going to adjust it like that and there we go now just click anywhere make sure to click your top layer again and now we are going to add text so on the left side it says add text click on add text add new text and there we go i'm just going to put how to make a thumbnail and then i'm going to go over here scroll down and then drag it to a size of your liking i'm probably going to make it like this there we go perfect you can also change the font, so I'm going to go over here to fonts. I'm going to pick a deft. You can also download your own fonts by going on devfont.com. Open up a new tab and look up devfont.com. I have a Mac, so I'll be showing you guys the Mac way, but I believe on Windows or any other computer, it's the same type of way. 
Okay, once the page loads, there will be a couple of fonts down below. You can also refresh as different fonts will be shown. But if you're looking for a specific font, you like to look on YouTube, or I have a font video that I can leave down below for any ideas of fonts you would like to download on the font. So I'm just going to be using probably, I'm going to be using lemon milk. And then I'm going to click enter. And it'll pop up down below. Next, you'll have to click download. And it will pop up as a zip. Then I'm going to look up font book. Click enter. And then my font book will pop up. Once your font book has popped up, I'm going to go click on lemon milk on the side. And then I'm going to open up font book again. And I'm going to open up Love Milk, and then there's multiple. There's light, light italic, medium, medium italic, regular, regular italic. I'm going to drag in regular. and I'll show you guys how to do that. Alright guys, so I got these overlays from Trofeo, so link down below to her channel. I'll leave the link down below also for these overlays. So what you like to do, I'm just going to be saving, um, I think I'm going to save a butterfly. I'm going to save a butterfly, so I'm just going to click on it and then I'll be saving it from there. Alright, so I just saved a butterfly and a cloud, so now I'm going to go back to Pixlr and then I'm going to add those in by clicking on the plus sign and doing the same exact thing that I just did to the text. So just click on image and just find your overlays. Now I put the butterfly in, so I'm actually going to put that probably right next to, um, let's see, I'm actually right there. And now I'm just going to add the cloud. It'll be loading in. I'm just going to resize it. Right there. Alright, and now I'm going to duplicate the cloud. So what you like to do is click on these three dots over here. And then go down to duplicate layer. And just drag it and resize. And I'm just going to keep adding them. So just keep on clicking duplicate layer. If you like more clouds. If you like the butterfly on top of the cloud, just drag your butterfly on top of the clouds. And there you go. And I'm going to add a few more. By turning it. There we go. 
All right, there we go. I hope this video helped you and if you have any questions just leave them down below and I'll try to answer all of them um, And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you guys in the next video